Apple watches, like many electronic devices, emit electromagnetic fields due to the wireless communication technologies they use, such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cellular connections. The radiation from an Apple Watch is primarily non-ionizing, which is generally considered less harmful than ionizing radiation, such as X-rays. Non-ionizing radiation does not carry enough energy to ionize atoms or molecules, and is generally considered safe at the levels emitted by consumer electronics. The radiation levels of Apple Watches are measured in terms of specific absorption rate, which indicates how much radiation is absorbed by the body when using the device. According to regulatory standards, Apple ensures that all its watches comply with global safety guidelines for EMF emissions. The SAR levels of Apple Watches are well within the safe EMF levels prescribed by federal and international health agencies. This compliance means that Apple Watches are designed to emit radiation at levels that are considered safe for regular use by health authorities around the world. Despite these assurances, concerns about the potential health risks associated with wearable technology have been raised. In 2015, journalist Nick Bilton of the New York Times wrote an article highlighting the possible dangers of electromagnetic fields emitted by devices like the Apple Watch. Bilton pointed out that the long-term health effects of EMF exposure are not yet fully understood, drawing a parallel to how the health risks of smoking were not widely recognized in the first half of the 20th century. Bilton's article emphasized the need for more research into the effects of EMF exposure from wearable technology. He referenced historical advertising campaigns, such as the 1946 Camel Cigarette commercial that claimed more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette to illustrate how societal perceptions of health risks can change over time with increased scientific understanding. Today we know that smoking is linked to numerous health problems, including cancer due to decades of research. Bilton suggested that a similar reevaluation might occur in the future regarding EMF exposure from wearable devices. Bilton also mentioned that institutions like the British Medical Journal and the International Agency for Research on Cancer have indicated a potential link between radiation from cell phones and an increased risk of tumors and cancer. While these concerns primarily focus on cell phones, they raise questions about the cumulative effect of EMF exposure from various devices, including smartwatches. Given these concerns, some individuals may wonder if it is safe to wear an Apple Watch all the time. Wearing an Apple Watch constantly does increase your exposure to EMF, though it remains within regulatory safety limits. For those who are particularly cautious about EMF exposure, there are several steps that can be taken to reduce it. Limiting the time spent wearing the device, especially at night or during periods of inactivity, can help minimize exposure. Alternating the wrist on which the watch is worn and reducing the use of cellular functions are additional measures that can further reduce EMF exposure. Additionally, products like the BioBand, a smartwatch EMF radiation protection clip, can be used to significantly reduce radiation exposure from your Apple Watch. Such products offer extra peace of mind for those concerned about the potential long-term effects of EMF exposure. Anyway, if this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe, 